Hello, Vinyl community, and hello, JT. JT, my friend, is uh, celebrating um, 400 and uh, throwing a contest. Um, he wants us to show our favorite uh, albums and uh, show some movies. And um, I will do this for you. I um, know I'm in the last minute, as usually. Uh, been a busy week, a lot of work, um, hardly have any time for YouTube anymore. But that's time. Um, I try to do my best. And um, this is for you. And I will do it with a twist and I will start with the movies. First of all, uh, I'm not a really a movie type of guy. And uh, do not watch so many TV series. Usually when my wife says that I have to see it because it's really good, then I watch it. And the movies I usually go with the classic one. Uh, I really dig this one, Star Wars. Um, it's uh, I don't know. I was like eleven or twelve when I saw the f second episode on this, and I just got hooked. It was so amazing. The effects was brilliant, and um, there's uh, of course a soundtrack. Everybody knows the team for Star Wars. It's brilliant. Uh, not any fancy. The second movie I have, uh, I really, really dig it because I think this is also a childhood thing. Started watch early and continue to follow, and I just love it. And that's James Bond. Um, this is the whole um, box set collection and um, from the first film to the to the last not the newest one because it hasn't arrived yet this one is uh, it's really good and the soundtracks to these are brilliant and there are so many good ones especially the old ones that are amazing really good ones so highly recommend the james bond collection and if we leave the big boxes and do some single ones and if we talk about directors, I really love Stanley Kubrick's um, The Shining. And this is probably my fifth copy or so, still sealed, a Blu-ray. Uh, the first one I got was on VHS. Um, and then I had a few DVDs, and uh, but here's a reserve copy for the time when it's time for Playing the Shining again. I really dig this one. Really dig this one. And of course, I have to add some bonuses. Uh, probably everybody knows Pippi Longstrump or Pippi Longstocking, as it's called in English. Uh, this is a story by Astrid Lindgren. Even if she was long before her time. Uh, especially when telling stories for children but uh, it's excellent stuff excellent stuff I really dig this and the same woman Astrid Lindgren also wrote this one Emily Lönneberg also a classic uh, children movie from uh, this one is actually recorded from 71 really good she was really good telling stories. Okay, on to the albums. Let's jump into it. Uh, I will show favorites that I have now. Not old stuff. I will show new stuff. Uh, the records that I usually play a lot at home. And here's one. Clutch. It's a really good rock band. Uh, this uh, Widowmaker Waltz series is a um, compilation with their own tunes and some covers. And it's freaking good. It's perfect for playing, having a good time, pop a beer or a glass of wine or whatever. Excellent rock, rock album. The next one I have in line, it's totally different. It's The Witch Egg. Uh, this is... Um, Far out, free, jazzy, psychedelic thingy. It's 
pretty hard to get into but when you sunk into their rhythms and um, it's um, marvelous and this is um, a side project by the lead man from the OCs which egg highly recommend if you like some obscure stuff to dig into um, if we take some um, cool ones here we have Wilderun this is um, different um, I had a little bit hard to get into it at start because this is uh, like um, metal with a folkish attitude it's very progressive but still very folkish and it's a marvelous journey to get into if you but you have to dig metal of course because it can be a pretty hard once in a while Wilderan. Cool stuff. And the two last one I have is, of course, Swedish. Uh, I will start with um, this one. Domkraft and Seeds. This is um, pure uh, psychedelic doom rock with a little bit of stoner vibes in it. It's um, heavy as fuck, but very melodic. And um, yes, the cover is in 3D. That's what the colors look so weird. But you get the pair of glasses inside this, so you can actually see what's going on if you can't figure it out. But anyway, good Swedish doom rock. And the last record I have for you is this lady. Anna Tannheim. Uh, a space for lost time. This is a um, expanded edition of um, her pre previous record where you get some more tunes, uh, especially from the on the first record where you got like a stripped down versions. It's her with the guitar and uh, her only together with somebody playing piano or just her and uh, something else. And it's really beautiful because it's um, like a um, very touchy singer songwriter stuff in a popish way. I really dig her because she, she's, she's really good. I highly recommend to at least check up and uh, this could be in your alley if uh, you are more into um, punkish and stuff like that. Anyway, JT, I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm sorry if I talk too long. Uh, I was hoping to keep this down to half the time. I notice I'm already over eight minutes and I'm really sorry for that. And I wish all the luck with your channel. Keep up the good work. You are an amazing guy and I love to see your findings because you are a freaking lucky guy to find all those records for almost nothing. Anyway, keep the record spinning. Uh, take care of your family. Have a wonderful weekend. Fridas.